smiling when I'm going through this. Why am I smiling? like I've been going through symptoms of depression and anxiety and I'm not saying that I have any of those things because I don't know for a fact if I do because I don't want to take away from those who actually have depression and anxiety because that's just not cool but I've been going through this thing where it'll go in waves and I'll be perfectly fine but all of a sudden I won't be perfectly fine and I don't know how to get out of it and it's kind of scary it's just this weird thing that goes on in my mind that I feel like I'm easily triggered by everything and affected by everything, even though some of the things that are going on in my mind, which aren't even actually going on, that sounds like I'm actually crazy. But like, I think things, and then I get really, really sad, and like I think about things. I don't know, this is literally like therapy right now. It's just so weird for me because I used to be always really, well, I still am, but I thought something was wrong with me when I was younger because I used to be so happy. And I was like, I'm so lucky. I'm always so happy. Nothing ever, even when something goes wrong, I'm still like happy, of course. Like I have emotions of like sadness and stuff. But overall, I'm so happy. And I've never felt the way that I've been feeling for the past few months or so. I just get stuck in this, I don't know, mindset all of a sudden and it's hard to get out and it's really really weird so it's forced me to cope with it and find ways to realign my thoughts so that i don't completely lose it which actually is a positive because it puts me out of my comfort zone and my comfort zone is being happy and yeah going through emotions of course but not to this extent to where I don't know what's going on and I'm easily triggered by like everything and it's the weirdest thing for me so that's a positive that it's forced me to be challenged and grow as a person but it also isn't so fun so these are some of the ways. well these are actually all of the ways that I found that help me cope with this when I'm going through it and it can happen at any moment it's the weirdest Thing. Like I'll be getting almond milk and all of a sudden I'll like cry like out of the fridge not in the grocery store because the grocery store makes me really really happy even though sometimes it will happen and I will be very very sad and I don't even want to go in the grocery store which is so unlike me. In this video I'm going to share with you all the things that I've been doing to help myself realign so that I don't completely lose it and hopefully this video can help you or anyone else that you know who has been feeling this way lately or just in general but hopefully this video helps you or anyone else <laughs> i can't function whatsoever if my space is cluttered even if i'm really really happy and i'm not going through one of those sad moments i still well it's a lot more than sadness i wish it was just sadness it's really really bad like bad thoughts not good not normal like sad like i don't know it's weird even if i'm happy my space being cluttered is just still not good so especially when i'm going through one of those weird moments that i don't even know what's going on with me my space being cluttered is the worst so i like to organize and declutter and put things where they belong and get rid of what no longer serves me so that it makes space for mental clarity because just looking at this is not helping with what's going on in my head so when i clean it up it just gives me mental clarity even though there's still a bunch of things going on in my mind that are not good at all this is the last thing that I want. And this is actually something that I can control. I can't control what's going on in my head necessarily. I kind of can to an extent, but I can't fully. But this mess right here, I can fully control. And it really does help me with what's going on in my head. And that's just one less thing to be sad and triggered by and feel like my life is going downhill so it really really helps when my space is clean and clear and decluttered I really enjoy oil diffusers when I used to go in stores that had them I used to always want one and the past year or so last year or so I got an oil diffuser from Target for only like $27 it's not the best quality but it does work in a small space. It's the best thing to just put organic, even though I don't have any organic ones, which I do need to get on. It just makes me really, really happy. It's not that it like relaxes me. I just feel like my space is even more clear and I'm getting everything together, which helps my mental 
things that happen in my mind. I just love when my space is clean and organized because it really does have an effect on what's going on in my mind and how I feel about things and my perspective. So my oil diffuser is everything, even though I do want to get a better one, but that one was just simple and black and it was from Target for only $27, which is a lot of money now that I think about it for that thing because it's literally just plastic, 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 which is like fine, but the quality of it isn't that good. I frequently wash my face, but I don't frequently use masks and stuff like that, even though I love using them and I have a lot of them to use, so why not put them to use? And especially during times where I'm going through things and I don't know how to get out of it, it really, really helps me to put on a mask and just kind of take my mind off of it and focus on putting on the mask and making it look as symmetrical and pretty as possible. And that kind of helps my mind. And also it helps my skin and it just makes me feel like I'm productive and I'm doing good things for myself. And I am doing good things for myself, but I know that I am and that really, really, I need to swallow. I'm gonna like choke on air. I have three masks to choose from. The red algae mask, white algae mask, and the black algae flash mask. The red one is great for acne prone skin, which I definitely have. And the white one is great for brightening your complexion, which I definitely need. And the black one is great for exfoliating. And actually with the red one, you can also use as a spot treatment, which I love to do. But I think for today, I'm gonna use the black algae flash mask. That's really hard to say. I'm afraid that I'm gonna mess it up once I get to flash. <laughs> my face like I did that's why it's very very irritated even though <laughs> this is how my skin is regardless but it's super red and everything is even more pronounced than usual because I just washed it and irritated it but it's good for it so it needs to just deal and like settle now I'm going to take my mask just take a little bit and then I'll just get more as I go but I take it out with this bamboo butter knife because I feel like it's more sanitary and then I'm going to grab this vegan foundation brush and just apply the mask this is amazing like how fun is this and it's not a super strong scent a light airy scent to it I love it and you can feel the kind of not beads because they're not those like what are those like those other brands that have those exfoliating cleansers that you don't want to get because the beads are like polluting the oceans and that's the opposite of what Osea is all about. Along with the black algae, this mask also has pineapple, pumpkin, and fig. It doesn't smell like artificial, which is so nice. Like I hate putting artificial things in my face. What's the point if it's like skincare? If it's makeup, I understand. Like, okay, fine, whatever. Even so, with makeup, I still don't like to put artificial things on my face. Like that's why I love 100% Cure so much but especially with skincare, that's like the scariest thing ever. That's not the point. The point with skincare is to like clean your skin, not make it smell pretty. It's starting to dry already, but it's so therapeutic for me to just like sit here and like mess around with it and like get the shape as fun and nice as possible. The little exfoliating beads in here are actually jojoba beads, which is really, really cool because I love to cleanse my face and moisturize my face with jojoba oil. It says to leave it on for three to five minutes, but I'm gonna leave it on while I take a bath, and that's definitely gonna be longer than three to five minutes, but I think I'll be fine. One of my followers, Shay, tweeted me, and it was during the time when I made a tweet that sounds so dramatic as if it was like a thing as if it was something that people were paying attention to but for me it was during the time of when i was watching the fosters and i was catching up on it on netflix i'm not completely caught up because i think there's another season out but it's not released on netflix so i was watching it and i just got really really sad not that kind of sad that i'm talking about in this whole entire video but just you know a normal sadness a sad feeling that the whole entire series was ending. Shay tweeted me recommending this show called Imposters. And at first I was on the fence, which I really shouldn't be at this point because you guys recommend things, especially strangers things. <laughs> I'm all 
but like Stranger Things. And I was on the fence with that as well. And you guys know how much I love that show. And then I started watching it and I was obsessed. So I really shouldn't be so, mm, I don't Because every single thing that you guys recommend to me, I end up obsessing over. This is the first episode of the first season and I finished the first season entirely but I just had to feature the first episode because it's so good and also it's just kind of funny. So I ended up watching episode after episode after episode of Imposters and I love it. It's a really, really good show and I highly recommend it. And also 911 is also an amazing so many also. 911 is as well. As well. As well. 911 is such a good show. You have to check it out. It's on Fox, but they have it on Hulu. And it's my favorite show. All time. The best thing ever. So good. It captivates me. It takes me out of everything and puts me in the story. And it's the greatest thing. I love it so much. I love to take baths. So when I take a bath, it kind of forces me to not worry about things and it kind of forces me, even though it can be hard, to get up and start a bath and put good things in the bath and just relax and not focus on a lot of things that I have to get done, which don't help my mental health. Because I allow myself to get stressed about those things rather than not get stressed and get them done. And sometimes I just get in a funk where I feel like I can't get them done, even though I can, but it's just the weirdest thing. So taking a bath is a nice reset for me. It just relaxes my muscles and sometimes it relaxes my mind and sometimes I bring my laptop in <laughs> into the water. No, but sometimes I bring my laptop in the bathroom with me and just watch something and that's just kind of, a double thing and I'll even have a mask on too while I'm at it. reset and to get away from social media but sometimes it's just really hard for me not to answer dms and respond to comments and answer emails and edit photos and stuff like that and even sometimes I edit videos from my laptop sitting on the toilet but it's just not good i need to just throw it away well not throw it away if you could smell how amazing this bath smells right now your mood would instantly improve this is amazing it's the gigartina therapy bath i don't know what gigartina smells like but gigartina is a red algae and it's so fun to just watch it all like disintegrate into the warm water it smells like lavender and i don't know what plumeria smells like but apparently that's also the scent in here at the moment, I can't afford therapy, but I can't afford this therapy bath, and this is pretty good. And I can just talk to myself. And the camera! Oh, this is perfect therapy right now. This is gonna help me, maybe. I don't know, but hopefully. It's nice, too, because this is going to relax my muscles, and it's full of antioxidants and minerals and essential fatty acids, which are so good to be soaked into your skin and breathed in, breathed in. But smelling it is therapeutic, and also it's just really, really good because everything is clean and you're not breathing in toxins and stuff like that, even though my water is probably full of, like, chloride and fluoride. Chloride? Is that a thing? My face is getting so red right now. It's so hot. It's like sweating in this mask, which is really, really nice because it's opening up my pores while I have this mask all over my face. And I know this is another product from Osea, but they reached out to me years and years and years ago to send me some products, and I was kind of iffy because I felt like I had my skincare routine down, even though I didn't. And I fell in love with their products, but not only their products, but what they stand for and that they're a family owned business and the quality of their products and the sustainability of their products and that everything is vegan and cruelty free, which is amazing. So they reached out to me to partner on this video. And that means that they hooked you guys up with free shipping in the US. 
using the code SORSHAD. I thought it'd be cool to make a video on what's going on with me currently, especially my mind, because it's so different for me. It's kind of a challenge, but that's cool because I can overcome this challenge, hopefully. And even if I can't overcome it, it forces me to get out of my comfort zone and be more comfortable in something that is not my comfort zone. So I thought it'd be cool to make a video on this whole entire topic, including Osea's products, because what better way to make yourself feel a little better than some self-care. What I'm going through, what I've been going through sometimes every so often recently, it can be really hard for me to do these things and make myself get up and do these activities, which sucks, but I know that if I do them and I try to focus my mind on something else, even though it's good to observe your emotions, sometimes these emotions, that not even emotions, they're thoughts that happen and then they easily trigger me. I don't even know how to describe it. But these things can be hard to make myself do and participate in, but when I do them and make it happen, it really, can help me. Sometimes it doesn't, but sometimes it does. So it's worth a shot for me trying what I'm going through, these weird moments that I've been going through recently. I hope you found this video any helpful. And again, if you go through weird things, and I don't wanna say weird, cause you're not weird for feeling this way. I'm not weird for it, but these feelings that we go through are, at least to me, well, that I go through, I can't speak for you. But these feelings that I go through are so weird for me and I've just been trying to find ways to help myself when this does happen. So let me know if you go through this and what you do to help yourself to make things a little better. This is how the Little Mermaid would film her YouTube videos if she was a YouTuber. You know how there's like the Barbie YouTube channel? Every single time she would have to be in water. So she would be in the bathtub sometimes, she would be like on the shore sometimes, she would be on a rock by the water, in the water, she would ha be halfway in the water filming a video in the truck. <laughs>